Raising the driving age will definitely decrease the accident rate on the road. Teenage drivers are more likely to cause accidents, so it is very necessary to increase the driving age to decrease the accident rate. According to the Alistair Andersby, he says in the United States, there were 30,000 deaths in crash crashing involving 15 to 17 year old drivers between 1995 to 2004. He also states that human life is precious and we must do everything reasonable to prevent them. Andersby is correct on his statement and it is necessary to make the road safer for everyone. In, his, in the article, Raising the Legal Driving Age to 18, he sta it states that 17-year-old boys hit a pregnant woman who was driving with her two children in her car. Teenage drivers are particularly dangerous, so delaying to get the license for the teenage drivers will make the roads much safer for everyone. Teenage drivers are more likely to take risks than any of the older drivers. In addition, teenage drivers are far less experienced than older drivers. It does not necessarily mean that all the teenage drivers are reckless drivers, and some are even better drivers than adult drivers, but how many are actually like that? Most of the teenage drivers are thrill-seeking, risk-takers, and love high speed. Especially male teenage drivers are more likely, more likely to cause accidents than women, um, female teenage drivers. In addition, many of them are influenced by peer pressure, so they have more risky behaviors than any than other age groups. Also, the teen brain is at a particularly vulnerable point in development. 15 and 16 year olds have a logical reasoning of an adult expert say. Um, but their young mind, social and emotional development remain relatively immature and voraciously seek sexual arousal, novelty, and risk. The teenage brain also particularly vulnerable to distraction and peer pressures and is undergoing explosive development. The front portion of the brain, which includes control of impulses, judgment, and decision making, and the coordination of multitasking, matures deep into the 20s, deep into the 20s research shift. In New Jersey, there, uh, like the negative said, their driving age is 17, and various studies have shown that their overall late rates of teens killed in crashes are constantly lower than some nearby states. According to the article, teen driving age should be raised by Martha Irma. Parents, parents also, say, also take part in their children's safe driving. During the old days, parents used to teach their children how to drive when they were around the age of 14 or 15. So by the time when they are 17 or 18, they have three or four years of experience behind them, according to the air, air pit, <coughs> the automotive columnist. Nowadays, public driving institutions took over the parents' role. However, it does not mean that parents do not have any role over the driving matters. Driving is not a skill that can be mastered overnight or in a couple of weeks of classroom instructions with a couple of hours behind the wheel. By, the, by raising the driving age to 18, it will give more experience to the teenager, teenage drivers and parents to teach them how to drive, drive safely during the training period. Raising the driving age means that fewer cars will be driven on the road also. Having fewer vehicles on the road will reduce the traffic and ease con <coughs> congestion. Pollution will be dropped significantly and carbon dioxide concentration will be diluted. In our modern society, driving is very essential. However, waiting for another two years will greatly reduce the accident and death rate. Raising the driving age might look very bothersome to parents, giving their children rights to everywhere they go. But it is indeed a safer way and protect way, way and to protect their children's lives, so therefore this action must be done until they are mature enough. It is true that teenagers want to work and get around with their friends when they're when they get older, but being a little uncomfortable is better than risking their own life. Insurance rates will also go down when the driving age goes up to 18. A family's insurance rate doubles when a teenage girl is added. To a policy rate, when teenage boys add it, is, um, it triples. Car insurance rates will jump for 50 to 200 percent the minute the teenage driver is added to their family's insurance, according to the teachingmatters.org. Auto insurance rate will be lowered for all drivers when the driving age is raised up to 18.